you had unlimited resources, what would you do? Unlimited resources, what would you do? What would any of you do? Buy a boat. Buy a boat? What else? Travel the world. Travel the world? Mind your own business? No. Oh. 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 Oh.
the summer of 1998, the fall of 1998. See where this is going? The spring of 99, the summer of 1999, when I was finally told, yes, we will. Is anyone recording? No. Hi, my name is Selena Gill of Selena Gill Design, and I create inspirational decor for your home and for your body. And I believe if you feel good about what you're wearing and what you see in your household, you'll feel better about your life. And imaginative social media lives. Or you ever met someone? I, I, I liken it to you see someone on Instagram, then you meet them in public. And they look nothing like they did on Instagram. Because of makeup, filters, that somebody's Bentley they were, you know, leaning on. That's how we live our lives. Our lives to everyone else is the Instagram life. But to us to go home, we take off the filter, we have to see who we are. So the first thing is really recognizing that thing and removing it. Removing it means examining it. And being vulnerable. And understanding that it's okay to be so-called weak. You're not a rock. Rocks sink, they don't float. So looking at that thing, and only you know what that thing is. You know what that deep, dark thing is. If you have one, and you haven't expunged it, you know what it is. And since you know what it is, you take the first step. And it might be just recognizing it. It's saying, this happened. Or saying, I was hurt. Or I'm bitter. I'm frustrated, I'm lacking. And just recognizing it, and accepting it, and feeling it, and being it, and it's okay. Just like we tell, like I tell my sons, I have four sons, um, 18, he's a freshman at the University of San Francisco. Colin is 13, he's in eighth grade. Ryan is 10, he's in fifth. And Ace is eight, he's in second. And I homeschool the youngster. And I tell them, it's okay to cry. It's okay to be who you are. It's okay that my kids, they call my kids the rainbow kids. Because I have to the lightest light, to a beautiful chocolate. And because they are different hues, people sometimes treat them differently. So we've had to teach them, no matter what chocolate you represent, you are beautiful. And it was hard to hear from my son that it actually hurt their feelings that someone made fun of their skin tone, whether it be too light or too dark. And knowing that could carry them through our life, we had to address it. So every time we can, we talk about how they are different because they're not the same. And I tell them, I love you all, but I love you all differently because you're different people, you have different personalities. Mm -hmm. This one here, I can raise my voice and he's done. I have another ace, eight year old, I can raise my voice, I can do backflips, I can run up and down the hall, I can beat on walls, he's like, whatever. Because that doesn't work for him. That's like for us, the same approach doesn't work for us. So knowing what you are, that thing is you need to remove, recognizing it, and taking the steps to expunge it or just expose it. Nonprofit, and we encourage and inform and inspire and teach all those who would like to express themselves via the written word. And Stag Speaks. Why do I take this to the next level and be modern with it? And figure out how to a digital way to chronicle my experience as a mom instead of writing stuff down and saying, oh, well, well, when my son is two, he said this and this was so funny. Because I'm going I'm to lose that. If I'm purging, I'm going to throw something away. I said, why don't I do it in a different way and why don't I share it? And at that point, I kind of also had a, a call and a push in the entrepreneurial world and never, ever, ever saw it before. And it frightened me, and we'll talk about that. Um, but the idea came August 8, 2015, while we were on our way to the movies. And we were in the car, and again, I had been thinking and praying, like, Lord, 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 you know, what is my thing? And the idea popped in my head to, to, to begin a vlog. So at that point, if we're thinking about this box and kind of thinking outside the box, that was one of the times when I really began to visualize myself outside of that box. So these are some pictures from that day. 